And his counter argument is, is a very bright, who's done some amazing wildlife research, Dr. Craig Harper has, was like, it doesn't matter because the part that's getting full of lignin isn't the part that the, the whitetail deer, I don't know if other deer mm -hmm. would be the same, but at least for whitetail, they're not eating that. So maybe for, for a, um, a grazer, like a cow, it would maybe impact them. Yeah. But from a concentrate selector's perspective um, or a browser, to use the ter terminology you started with, it wouldn't impact them. What's your thoughts on, on that as an animal scientist? Oh, yeah, I would agree. I would totally agree. Um, but I would say, you know, that's where you have to be careful and make sure they have um, access to their natural feed stuff that has tannins in it. Because, um, you know, you can have bloat issues. And I actually worked with a producer in Idaho who had some fields and he was very progressive minded. Um, so he didn't want to do any management in these fields. He wanted them to be, you know, natural and diverse and everything. And they started just getting taken over with clover. And he had goats, which if you recall what we talked about earlier, um, they are um, the only true browsing species, um, but they didn't have access to anything that had tannins in them 